Okay, so what I did was I, I accidentally messed up. I had to put it this way. Hi, hey, how are you doing? I'm over here now, see? Okay. So what are we going to do? I'm going to move my food off of here and put it over here for now. Uh, I have to husk the, the, husk the camera. I don't have to husk the camera. I have to husk the food. Let me see if I can get it over here so you can see it. There's a sink. So we're going to take out this and we're going to wash it in cold water, not hot water. So I talked to my brother. He is the gardener. And I talked to my other brother who works at the, uh, the uh, nursery where you buy the corn when it's small and you grow it. Okay, so you take off all the outer things and there's probably ants in here. So we don't want ants. Ants are no good, right? Right. So we'll take off all the, the outer husk. That's pretty good that it grew that, huh? You can't imagine this. If this came from a seed, a tiny seed in the ground. So we're going to go ahead and snap off the bottom, maybe, and maybe not. There we go. There like that. And this does not look good. Oh, maybe that's a hair. Okay, see? There's a small little corn in there. And you know what? The smaller, actually, I found out is the better. Those ones I had, that first one I, ooh, that's cold. The first one I had the other night, oh my God, it was so good. It did not need no butter or nothing. So now we get the hair off, right? We take all the hair off. It's like the harem. We're taking all the hair off. That's well, we're, all the hair that we can get off of it, I should say. That's a pretty good little corn for a lousy garden outside. You saw me pick it yesterday. And now me and my wife will celebrate our uh, seventh anniversary of being married. Thank you very much for everyone who said thank you and happy anniversary and all that fun stuff. <laughs> so, now I talked to my other brother. His corn grew really tall and he said it had no flavor. I'm hoping this is not the case of this. I don't see no hands, that's good. Now, here's our pan. Will it fit? It will. Look at that. So let's put some water in there. Now, let's keep that float. It does. Good, good. Now we're going to go back here for this one. Same time. Get off the same stock, actually. Alright, let's take this off. As you see, we're going to rip this right off there. That's the sound of summer. You know what I'm talking about when I say that? You can you can buy the corn in the grocery store and it has no flavor because it's been sitting there for so many weeks. This is right off the, the stock. I mean, we got it yesterday right off the stock. Look at all this nice corn in there. I cannot believe that because I've never grown corn before. I've grown pumpkin, I've grown tomatoes, I've grown pickles. Did you know what pickles made out of? <laughs> well, my old cameraman, he did not know what a pickle was made out of. He didn't tell the truth, me neither. Not very smart to for a cook that doesn't know how a pickle is made. Yes, if you know what a pickle is, go ahead and post it on this video. I know what it is now. It's a cucumber. Yes, the cucumber makes the, not the, it makes the, look at that, isn't that a nice piece of corn? It's going to be good. Okay, so we're going to wash off all the hair. Uh, we don't want to eat the hair, it'll be gross. We're not like kitty cats that are eating bugs and things. Now I found the secret to this. Watch this one not fit. It's going to be bigger. No. It doesn't fit. So, we break it in half. Like that. Okay. Here's the secret. We put salt in there. Just like that. Shake it all over there. Just enough to get it uh, salted up. You know, lots of people get assaulted. Ha ha ha. Dumb joke. Okay, we don't need to waste no more water. 
We wasted enough water, okay? Okay, okay. Lots of hair in that one, I don't know why. It's a very hairy, hairy, hairy thing. Okay, now I'm going to put you on pause for a moment. So I can touch the camera and not get it wet. And there you have it, okay. Now I'm sitting on here, no flame. Why you say there's no flame? Because I am uh, antique. No, my stove is antique and my landlord will not fix it. He says it's our, our problem. It's not our problem, it's his problem. It's his apartment, whatever. So I use the lighter and I just turn the gas on. Now you see, there's a flame. Now we let that boil for 10 minutes. That's 7.35 p.m. And it will be done in about two, what, 10 minutes, so what's that? It's 8, 7.45. We'll give it maybe 12 seconds, uh, sorry, 12 minutes, 7.55. Okay, so there you see it's on there. I am afraid I may have to put butter on this, I don't know. It smells pretty sweet, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to pause camera because I don't want to kill the battery. Okay, so now the water is boiling. All right, um, Chef, Chef Capaldo cleaned up the whole damn kitchen today. Got some new utensils and new knives. And, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to get nice and bubbled up here. I'm going to let you guys watch it while I eat my dinner. Maybe I'll put some fancy music in later. Bubbling music to go along with the video.
Gustavo's back. <coughs> Let me tell you. Don't make that. Marie Calendar, she doesn't make no good food. Not as good as Mitch Capalbo, Chef Capal. He knows how to make food. That food, ugh. Well, it's the only we can do since Walmart fucked up my order once again. I was going to make a peanut butter cake for my wife. But no, they'll masses forget to give me. They forgot to give me the, <clears throat> the uh, peanut butter. Okay, I think it's long enough. It's been in there now over 15 minutes. We'll turn that off. Some mad ass downstairs making noise. Okay. So what do we do now? Well, we can let it sit there or we can drain it. Alright. So now we're going to drain the water in the sink. Lots of water there. Clean the sink up, you know. Too hot. My nail I was looking for. How the hell did it get there? Okay. Well, I'll try to pull it out like this. There it is. I was wondering where that nail is. Okay. There is corn. Is ready to eat now. So, I'm glad you come to watch me. And <laughs> I'm very surprised that you watch water boil. But, uh, you know, you have to do what you got to do. And, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe right down. Where the hell is my finger? Right there. Right there by the corner. Subscribe to Magic Mitch Arts. I'm going to butter it up and then I'm going to take a bite out of it. And we'll make video then. Okay, thank you for watching. And have a good night. I'm going to have a great night. Thanks again. Alright, Magic Mitch Arts or Chef Capaldo.